Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about something pretty exciting. Now, I don't know about you, but I love to organize my craft supplies and you can see like, you know, it looks fairly organized over here, but you know, oftentimes your craft room looks a little bit like that. A little bit of a hot mess. Now, I'm not saying I have a solution of some sort of robotic maid that is gonna come clean up your craft room or anything like that, but I have found a new organizational app. I was introduced to it at Creativation by a lovely lady named Renee, and I thought that I would show it off now that it's available in the App Store. And uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. It's called Color My Life, and this is gonna be an absolutely perfect thing. If you have struggles, you know, matching up colors, you wanna keep track of your inventory. I know many people have used Evernote in the past and it seems like Evernote isn't really updated anymore. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's just not really great, I don't think. I mean, it's a good alternative, but this is specifically designed for crafting, especially paper crafting in our stamping industry. So I just have a little bit of information here I want to get across before we get into how the app works and what it looks like. So you need to create an account with the Color My Life app and everything in there is explained as well as subscriptions and things like that and it is a super affordable price. And it has a barcode catalog. So all of your stamps generally have a barcode on the back or most of them should anyway. And so they actually have over 50,000 items in their catalog already, and they're partnering up more and more with companies. So be sure if your company isn't in there and their products aren't coming up that you email them and let them know to just send over their information to Color My Life because it really is just a really simple process for companies to hand over their feed of supplies and then they can get those added in. So at the moment, you can store your Copic markers Altenew for most of them. They're getting, they're working on getting some of the older products on there still. Um, Pink and Main, Kaiser Craft, Prima Marketing, American Crafts, Tim Holtz Ranger, uh, uh, Echo Paper, Doodlebug, Lawn Fawn, Spellbinders, Me and My Big Ideas, Sizzix, Cottage Cuts, Hero Arts, and Stampendous. And so all you need to do is scan the barcode and your product will come up automatically with a photo of it, of the item. It'll automatically have what type of item it is. You can insert your quantity. It already has the colors picked for you. And what's really cool is you can go in there later and let's say you need that specific red, you can go ahead and click on it and all your products are gonna come up that have that color. Very, very cool for matching up your Copic markers to pattern paper or envelopes, things like that. So there's lots of things that are gonna be coming out next. So find an item is going to be coming up next. Um, uh, provide a warning when adding a duplicate item. So I like that feature. Um, and then there's going to be uh, Android and other platforms that are available. So right now it's available on iTunes or well, App Store for Apple. And so let's get started. Let's see what it looks like. And I hope you'll give it a try because it's super fun. All right, so you're going to go to the App Store and grab the Color My Life app. You can see the logo here so you know which one it's going to be. You're gonna let it download and then you're gonna to have to go ahead and register an account. For me personally, because I already have an account, I'm able to just log in normally. So when you get to the app, you're going to sign in after you've created that account and then you're going to put in your details and I just skipped the password part obviously because I don't want to share that with the world. So now going into the app now that I'm logged in and when you first get started, I recommend hitting the settings button and just getting a couple of settings done first. This will just save you some time in the long run, I feel. So click on settings and then category settings. And then you can go ahead and you can actually choose which things you have in your craft room. So for example, if you don't plan on logging into your inventory acrylic blocks or chalks or charms or something if something doesn't in your class craft room there's no need for it to be on here for when you go ahead and search your categories this is going to make things a little bit easier in the wrong long run so i'm just taking off things that really aren't in my craft room i am going to get started so you can see i've already inputted a couple of things in here already and it looks absolutely amazing. So everything looks so organized and clean and I absolutely love it. So let's go into how we do that. 
So you're going to get started on adding items into your catalog by clicking the plus button and add an item. You have two ways to add an item. You can go ahead and hit scan the barcode and if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and you can click the plus button there, or the camera button, sorry. Um, but what I like to do when it doesn't work, because I like to be really anal about things, is I like to go in and actually grab a screenshot of the item itself so that I'm not just taking a picture of the item on my floor in bad lighting and then the reflection of the plastic of the stamp, all that. So once I click the camera, you'll see at the bottom your photo library comes up and you can choose that screenshot that you saved on your phone. Then you can go ahead and add in all the information that you would like to add. And this is completely up to you how detailed you want to get. So depending on what you use your craft supplies for, you might not need to be as detailed as I will be. I've added the name and then I'm going to go ahead and add a category. I like the fact that there's a stamp and die and a stamp option so then I know if I have the coordinating stamp set or not. So cool. And so it, I'm going to put it as a stamp and then I obviously have one of them and then I can add whatever tags I like. Just don't forget you have to push the done button when you're adding a new tag. So if there's a tag already there, you can go ahead and click on it as it pops up so you don't have to duplicate tags like if you forget if you wrote flower or flowers, for example, it'll just pop up. But if you need a new tag, you have to hit done after each one. So now I've added in my tags Altenew, Flowers, Larkspur, Layering Stamp, and Just Because, because that seems to be the general theme of the sentiments on the card. I can now go ahead and put for example, where the item is stored and the manufacturer. So this is really just building something from scratch, something that the app does not actually currently have in the system. So I'm going to put it in the 6x8 stamp set bin because I have a bin just for 6x8 stamps and I only have one, so I don't need to add anything specific. I'm going to put Altenew as my manufacturer and then hit that Create Item button. Then you're just going to hit the Done button. And now you can see here I have some categories and you can see all the stamps that I've added in so far. So you can create categories if you like for let's say stamps, paper, things like that or you could just have them all assorted, it's up to you. So now I want to show you what happens when you hit the scan the barcode button. You can see just how fast it actually scanned the barcode using my camera. And you can even add more photos. So I added the 6x6 paper pack, for example, but I wanted to be able to see what kind of papers were in there. So I photographed the back of the paper pack as well, so I can just flip through. And because this was automatically in the system, it actually had everything already in there. It was filed under paper and things like that. Then I hit the colors button and it automatically picks up the colors from the front of the paper pack. And this way I can have, uh, if I'm looking for a specific blue color and I want to see what other things are in my craft room that's the same shade of blue, I can go ahead and do that. You can also go ahead and hit custom colors if it doesn't hit all the colors that you want. The only thing you would need to customize here are your tags and if you have a specific category system. So it automatically filed under paper slash cardstock, but I wanted it under paper, so that's the second item. I'm now going to go put in my tags, so flowers, pattern paper, 6x6 paper, whatever you want for your tags. This has sort of a painted look, so you could add painted, for example, to it. And I like to add the company just because of what I do, that I do this for a part-time job. And then I can put where I'm storing this, so 6x6 paper pad bin. You can see I already have a paper pad in here, so that popped up automatically, so I don't need to type it again. So the more items you add the easier it's going to be later for adding tags and things like that. You might not have to complete the whole word anymore. Then there's also this filter button. So if you're looking for something in particular, you can go ahead and filter. So let's say I'm looking for a specific color to coordinate with my products. I can go ahead and hit gold, for example, and all of the items I have stored in my craft room or in this app that have gold in them will then automatically pop up. Just a quick recap now, again, on how to add an item that doesn't automatically pop up for you. As I said, I don't want ugly packaging in my photos. <laughs> so just go in ahead, don't mind my couch here, I'm sitting here making this on my couch, and I just added this in here. 
Now again, you're gonna have to go in and customize everything the way that you like it. So I put the stamp name. I don't put the company because that is a category that you add in there, so I don't need to do that in my opinion. As I said, you've got stamp and stamp and die, which is really, really nice so that you know when you have the coordinating stamp or when you don't have it and you don't buy any duplicates like I just did the other day. You know I bought this stamp three times. I'm not even joking, I ended up giving one to a friend and I'll probably do a giveaway for one later because I have bought this stamp three times. Don't even ask me how I did that. I've never done that before and I have bought this one three times. This is what happens when you get everything shipped to the border and not to Canada and then you go pick it up and you forget what you've ordered. Anyway, going in now, I don't need to add any colors, obviously for a stamp set, that wouldn't make sense. Adding in all of the tags. So I like to be really specific with tags, especially when a stamp set comes with like 10 different sentiments. I like to have each category of sentiment in there so that I know that I have all my thank you sets aren't necessarily specific thank you stamps. They might be a random flower stamp and it has a thank you stamp. So I wanna make sure that I'm specific here. And you'll notice that now I've added in five or six stamps, how many labels are popping up as I'm going. So I can easily just click. Same with the item is stored here. If you've already saved one of your item areas, it's gonna automatically pop up. So you'll notice here I go to go type in stamp bin and obviously stamp bin number three just pops right up. Again, adding the manufacturer, I haven't added a stamp market thing yet, so that's just there. So I'm really curious to hear what you think about this app. It's pretty cool, I love it, and I love that it's continuing to be developed. So they have a lot of features they wanna add, especially the project area, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Okay, now another really cool feature in the app is this project area. So you can go ahead and add your projects in here, or my idea is you could add any sort of inspirational photos that you can um, take off of Pinterest or whatever. So I'm gonna go to my blog here. You'll notice that I don't blog as much as I used to because I really focus on videos these days. I'm gonna click on one of these and I'm just gonna save a picture. So anyone can save pictures off my blog. I don't care as long as you're not using them for any sort of personal promotion. So I'm going to create a category. Let's say I wanna create a whole category about cards using vellum, let's say, um, or cards using vellum and embossing. Now I can go ahead and I can add images in here. So I can add a whole bunch of different cards that have vellum on them. So if I'm gonna go use my vellum, I can click on projects and I have all these ideas of cards using vellum. I can also go in and I can add things like uh, the project, um, sorry, the supplies used in them. So I can go ahead and go to add items and then I can go ahead and add things that I have in here or add things hopefully for my wish list I would think would be available as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this app. Consider downloading it. I have all the links below in the video description. And I don't have any sort of personal affiliation with Color My Life. I'm not getting any sort of kickback for promoting this. This is really something that I got super excited about at Creativation and I thought was an amazing idea. So I'm off to go categorize my stamps for the evening. I wonder how long I could put off report cards still. I'm not too sure. I'm just kidding. I'm really close to being done. So anyway, I have a good day and I hope you enjoy this. Give it a try and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.